Do you feel like your life is kind of okay, but it seems like there's something missing? You don't really feel that happy, and you can barely remember the last time you felt truly alive. Don't worry, you're not alone in this. We instinctively do what seems like a good idea, but delivers poor results. However, once you understand the paradox of pain avoidance, once you learn how to manage and leverage your dopamine system, your life will never be the same. So let's talk about it. As I am recording this video, I am on my parental leave, traveling with my wife Sonia and my baby girl Kyomi. Before we departed, I was convinced that the best moments on this journey would be found on a beach somewhere in Florida or California or in Canadian or American Rockies. That's how most of us feel. All we need is a beautiful place where we can truly relax and enjoy ourselves. Well, I was very wrong. The best moments involved time spent with Kyomi and Sonia. But also, to my great surprise, the best moments involved the most painful things I've done in my life. The first was a 20 mile run in the Grand Canyon, from the rim to the river and back, with over 5000 feet climb back and 100 degree Fahrenheit in the canyon. The second one was a run inspired by David Goggins' bad water race experience. It was a run in the Dev Valley in August before noon. Both were brutally painful and extremely uncomfortable, but somehow they also felt euphoric, incredibly satisfying and awe-inspiring. And yes, I felt the same during my Ironman race a year ago, running with shin splints and a stress fracture. If you think about it, it's mind-boggling. We are hardwired to avoid pain and seek pleasure, and we are repeatedly told that pain is bad and pleasure is good. Yet somehow, I had this immensely satisfying experiences by deliberately embracing pain. While this is counterintuitive, it makes perfect sense once you understand the processes that govern our brain's neurochemistry. This includes our body's homeostasis, pleasure pain balance and hormesis. It may sound complicated, but it is easy to understand. During a painful exercise, but also cold heat stress, your body's endogenous or natural opioid system releases dynorphins. They are the opposite of pleasant endorphins, and they bring about profound sense of discomfort. But they also do another fascinating thing. They sensitize your entire opioid system, making your cells more receptive to endorphins afterwards. That's why you feel great, relaxed, relieved and even euphoric after a really good workout. This is what it looks like on a graph. Whenever you do an uncomfortable or painful activity, like exercise or cold water exposure, it sucks. It's uncomfortable, painful and you hate it. However, at this point, your body's homeostasis kicks in and it's trying to return your body to a state of balance through dynorphins, endorphins and dopamine. And it works really well, sensitizing your body to endorphins and dopamine. That means that when you stop your painful activity, you not only go back to your normal well-being. No, your baseline happiness increases above that for a long time. We know from scientific experiments that painful things like like exercise or cold exposure can raise your dopamine up to 250% baseline afterwards and the effect is long lasting. Moreover, this increase is not followed by a dopamine crash, which comes after a vast majority of pleasure-inducing stimuli. This makes uncomfortable things like exercise or cold heat exposure the most beneficial and reliable ways to improve your long-time well-being. As psychiatrist Dr. Anna Lemke from Stanford said, the better way to get dopamine is indirectly by paying for it upfront. When I was preparing for my Ironman race, for the first time in my life, I started exercising daily, without fail, for a year. And comparing that year with previous years, I was shocked how much more motivation and enjoyment in life I had. But the paradox of pain avoidance is not only about pleasure. Our typical approach to avoid pain, paradoxically, can lead to more pain in life. How so? Well, a person that often exercises regularly stimulates endorphins, which are natural painkillers. Additionally, that person's body becomes stronger, more resilient and anti-fragile. Because of that, such person will end up with less pain in life. On the other hand, a person that wants to avoid pain at all costs, for example by the chronic use of painkillers, with time can develop tolerance to them. Or in an extreme case, even conditions like opioid-induced hyperalgesia or an abnormal pain sensitivity, meaning that that person will experience more pain. In short, our obsessive pain avoidance can lead to more pain in life. And finally, it's worth remembering that all of this discussion is not limited to our physical bodies. It is applicable to our mental cognitive processes as well. Exposing yourself to mental discomfort and pain 
through challenges and struggles, is highly adaptable and provides multiple benefits. That's why it is extremely valuable to develop a love for struggle, challenge and discomfort. Just like that crazy guy, David Goggins. Just remember, when you embrace discomfort and pain, they are not the end goals. I mean, <laughs> you can go and start hitting a wall with your head and sure, you will get a lot of pain and possibly even some brain damage, but you will get very few if any benefits from this. For benefits to materialize, there must be some purpose behind your suffering. Also, you don't want your uncomfortable activities to leave you with any permanent damage. They only have to take you outside of your current comfort zone. But once you do it regularly, they will bring you more mental and physical strength, more resilience, more motivation, confidence, energy and happiness. Your future is bright, my friends. This was one of several critically important steps you can take to manage and leverage your dopamine system and live the life you really want. To learn about other essential steps, check out the paradox of pleasure, which you can see here. And if you enjoy this content, you can help create more future videos like this with zero effort. Just hit like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon in my other video.